What the heck? I think I'm losing my mind. Trying to stay inside the line. With the rise of content creation growing online, many people are looking for their best setups to get the content that they need created. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I consider to be the best vlogging setup of 2022 and possibly ever. Now today, not only do I think I found the most compact vlogging setup solution, but I also think I found the most high quality one as well. So with that being said, let's jump into how this system is actually set up. Now for the brain of this vlogging setup today, we're using a RED Komodo 6K. This camera is known for its high image quality while also delivering some of the most premium colors in the market available. Now attached here to the Komodo, we're using an RF to EF mount, which allows us to use this 14 mil 3.1 T-stop lens. Now because this lens is manual, we had to figure out a way to get autofocus on this camera because again, for this to be the best vlogging setup of 2022 or possibly ever, we had to make sure that it had autofocus. So the second brand of this whole operation is a Ronin RS2. Right here on top, we have something called the 3D focus module. And what this does is actually send a infrared signal to a subject and then it sends that signal back and it measures that distance. And this is how we create focus with a manual lens. And right here on the bottom, we have a V-mount battery from Moment, and it actually powers the whole Ronin setup. If we had the correct cable, we can actually skip the batteries on the back of the Komodo 6K by powering it off this battery as well. However, I didn't have the correct cable for that. Now, the other way that I'm actually giving power to the RS2 is through this other product from Tilta, which allows you to basically power the Ronin RS2 off an additional power source. Now to get this system high quality audio, I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. I really like this microphone and you can see it used by many other YouTube vloggers today. So now that we're all gassed up in the Tesla, let's go get some coffee. Like I said before, RED is known for its high image quality, but also its color science. So with the RED Komodo being the brain of this setup, I'm able to capture my memories at the most high quality available in a compact solution. Which brings me to my next point, the size of the setup. I found this to be very easy to maneuver, so I've been able to vlog in a Tesla, fill up my car at the gas station, and even walk into the coffee shop to get my daily brew without people thinking it was a big deal to vlog with this setup. Now there are moments where every single person in the room is staring at me, but I think that's just because they know how good this setup is. Now not only has this vlogging setup improved my image quality, but it's also improved my physical health. Holding this setup out at an extended distance has allowed me to really improve the muscles in this arm right here. Now there have been a few times where I've experienced some soreness in my wrist. I mean, I did go to the ER once or twice. However, all I had to do was switch the tripod over to this side and I was able to vlog for extended hours and then switch it back and everything was perfectly fine. Now moving into our last category, let's actually talk about the price of this setup. So if you're balling like Elon Musk, there is no issue to purchase this setup. Right here we have the camera brain itself and this cost around $6,000. This microphone up here cost about $320. This lens cost about $400. This gimbal setup cost about $1,100. This Blackmagic 12G video assist cost about $800. And then the switch pod itself cost $100. So as you guys can see, this is actually a very affordable setup for the image quality that you get. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my video of me talking about what I consider to be the best vlogging setup of 2022 or possibly ever. This setup has improved my image quality, improved my physical health, and made me more popular than anyone else whenever I'm vlogging. With that being said, if you guys are interested in actually learning how to color grade from cameras like this, then I recommend that you check out this video right over here. 